Welcome to Okaloosa County's annual Title I Parent Meeting. We are happy to see you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short informational video. We all want the best for our children, a better future for them, success in school and life, to be happy, to be a good citizen, to be respectful, honest, and hardworking, and eventually to make more money than we do. What is Every Student Succeeds Act, or ESSA? ESSA replaced No Child Left Behind. This Education Act was signed into law in 2015. It aims to ensure that every student has a high quality education, is challenged and motivated, provides parents with information about the quality of schools, and gives students the chance to be well-rounded. What is Title I? Title I is the largest federal assistance program for our nation's schools. The goal of Title I is a higher quality of education for every child. The program serves millions of children in elementary and secondary schools each year. How Title I Works The federal government provides funding to states each year for Title I. The Florida Department of Education sends the money to the district. The school district identifies eligible schools and provides Title I funds. Those funds are put to work in your child's school. Annual Measurable Outcome. Okaloosa County's goal is to improve the number of proficient students by 50% by 2020. Targets include participation rate and percent proficient in reading, writing, mathematics, and graduation rates. Schools are given a letter grade from A to F to indicate the level at which they were able to meet their annual measurable outcome goals. Parents' rights. As a parent, you have rights to be involved and request regular meetings to express your opinions and concerns, be provided information on your child's level of achievement on assessments like FSA and reading, language arts, mathematics, and science. Request and receive information on the qualifications of your child's teacher and be informed if your child is taught by a non-highly qualified teacher or paraprofessional for four or more consecutive weeks. School Accountability Report Card. Even schools get report cards. In Okaloosa County, the School Public Accountability Report, or SPAR, provides you, the parent, and the community with important information about each public school. This information includes demographic data, school safety and climate for learning information, academic data, graduation rates, class sizes, teacher and staff information, curriculum and instruction descriptions, post-secondary preparation information, and annual measurable outcome information. If you would like more information about your child's school, please feel free to contact your school or visit the following link below. Educational Standards Florida's academic content standards are changing to be more rigorous for all students. From 2014-15 school year forward, all grades will use the new Florida standards. The standards identify what your child needs to know and be able to do in all content areas. More information on educational standards is located at the following link. Measuring Student Success. In Okaloosa County, we measure student success with Florida Standards Assessment, or FSA, grades 3 through 11, iReady Reading and Math, grades K through 8, and FCAT Science, grades 5 and 8. Title I funds provide supplemental support. These funds provide smaller classes, 
additional teachers and paraprofessionals, additional training for school staff, extra time for instruction before and or after school programs, parental involvement activities such as STEM night, literacy night, and a variety of supplemental teaching methods and materials that are used in your child's classroom on a daily basis. Who decides how title funds are used? In the spring, the school district and school's needs assessment process begins. This process gathers information from parents, school staff, school faculty, school leaders, private schools, and the community to inform the needs of the student and families. The school community creates a school performance plan and parent-family engagement plan, detailing how the school will address the needs of the school families, and how funds will be used. In the fall, the School Advisory Council reviews, provides input, and approves the SPP and PFEP Title I parent allocation. Benefits of parental involvement. There are so many positive benefits of being involved in your child's education. Parents, it increases knowledge of how to support your child's learning. Creates strong parent-student relationships, increases understanding of school policies and programs, and decreases stress. Children, it increases achievement, increases positive attitude and behavior, increases grades and graduation rates, increases trust with teacher, and increases motivation. Teacher, decreases disciplinary issues, increases knowledge of family cultures, increases parental support with academics at home, and increases trusting relationships. Parent School Compact. In Okaloosa County, we have a Parent School Compact or Parent School Agreement. This agreement is between teachers, students, and parents to commit to do their very best to support the student's academic endeavors. Parent Family Engagement Policy Requirements. The Parent Family Engagement Policy Requirements provide materials and training to help you, the Title I parent, work with their children to improve their academic achievement. It assists parents in understanding academic content standards, assessments, and how to monitor and improve the achievement of their children. It plans such events as Literacy Night, Family STEM Night, Grades 3 through 5 FSA Facts Sessions, Grades K through 2 How to Help My Child Succeed. Need to contact us? Have a question? Please feel free to reach out to your child's school or feel free to contact Amy Dale, Office of Curriculum Instruction. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short informational video.